Hello students, myself Jitendra Kumar Chauhan from ABS Engineering College. Today we will going to discuss about the one protocol which is a web access protocol in the India application layer, which is known as the HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol. In this protocol, we have to type a protocol name in the web browser like the HTTP double forward slash www.google.com so here the HTTP is basically the web access protocol, which is a hypertext transfer protocol. So here, what do you have to do? So here we have to understand the web browser and the web server interact. So examining the, how the page is open in a browser. So here the some steps are there. In the step one, we have to type, the browser interprets the three parts of the URL. When you have to type this URL in your browser, like the HTTP, Call it double forward slash www.cisco.com slash index.html. So this basically comprises the three parts. The first is the HTTP, which is basically known as the protocol, which is basically the protocol of this scheme. Here we are using the web access protocol, which is an HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol. The second part is known as the server name, which is your www.cisco.com. And the third part is basically the object or the web we want to access from this particular website. So that is what the index.html. So there's a specific file name that is requested from the server. So these three parts, basically the first is the, your protocol, second is the server name, and the third is basically the object which you have to basically want to access from the website. Step, step two, basically the step two, the browser interprets and that, but basically what you basically demand, so browser check with the name servers and convert the www.cisco.com into a numeric IP address. So this functionality is basically, that means the website name into a numeric IP conversion is done by the one protocol in the application, which is known as DNS, is a domain name services. So this basically convert into the website into the numeric IP, and then client sends an HTTP request to a server by using the method get method. The get method means you want to set an object from the website. So request to the server and ask for the object name that is an index.html file. So this is a, how you can basically, the HTTP server can request a page from the client site. Next in the step three, in response to the request, the server sends the HTML code for this web page to the browser. So this server can basically sense, okay, HTTP 1.1, there is a version of the HTTP and status is 200, which is okay. And then send this HTML page towards the client side. Next is the step four, the browser then deciphers, that is what the encrypted, but it deciphers this HTML code and that formats the, the page for the browser window. And this particular the object, that's what the home page of that website can be open at the client side. So this is way how the HTTP can work in these four step, the step one, step two, step three, and the step four. So this is way how the HTTP can work here. Now the HTTP, we can have the three, uh, we can uh, basically be, uh, at this time, we are using uh, the one method, it's a get method, but we can have the two other method as well as, then that is known as a post method and the put method. So in case of the post method, this uploads the data files to the web servers, such as the form data. Or we can have also the put methods. This upload the resources content to the web services like an image here. So we can have the three in common, the three methods. We can have the get method. We can have the post method. We can have the put method. So in case the, we can have the two version of the HTTP, there's an HTTP and HTTPS. So HTTP is basically is a not so much secure as compared to the HTTPS, where the HTTPS, basically the hypertext transfer protocol secure, is basically the more security when, when a certain websites, we need a more security, then we can use the uh, this protocol, which is known as HTTPS. So these are the references used for this lecture. This is a disclaimer. Thank you.